With me now is the festival director for Third Eye Film Festival, AKA San Francisco South Asian Film Festival, Yvonne Jagadar. This is the third decade. You're starting the third decade of the Third Eye Film Festival. 21st annual Third Eye. How does it feel? Feels good. I think experience is always wonderful. And I think we've got that over the years. So yeah, it's good. And uh, this year we have a whole slew of award-winning films, which is uh, always the case, but um, I'm surprised at how many award winners there are from the Cannes Film Festival this year and Toronto and other festivals. That definitely sounds exciting. Uh, What other films do we have lined up? Um, Well, it starts, of course, October 20th and ends October 22nd, so it's a pretty quick weekend. Um, We're starting Friday the 20th with an amazing, riveting film that people interested in democracy and journalism, like yourself, uh, really should watch. It's a must watch. The film director, uh, Vinay Shukla, will be here, and the film is titled While We Watched, and deals with um, a character study of one of the premier anchors of Indian television, Ravish Kumar, and looks at the state of affairs of politics and journalism and how uh, democracy is at risk over there, and so is journalism. And it's really a film that we want to champion, and so we're opening with it. And what about the film on Saturday? Any Bollywood films? You know, this year we've decided to go not Bollywood and beyond, but beyond Bollywood, and focusing on more sort of innovative, independent films. We'll get back to Bollywood, though, soon. Um, But the films for Saturday night, we are having another film from India, A Night of Knowing Nothing by Payal Kapadia. She's quite amazing. And another just a, a winner at the Cannes Film Festival for Best Documentary. It's an experimental documentary and has a mosaic of different images and videotape uh, again around the changes in the political scene in India, Um, sort of a look at the growth of authoritarianism. But like the earlier film I mentioned, it isn't just about India, it's about global politics in many ways and how things are uh, are changing everywhere. And so we're dealing with salient themes this year, as well as some lighter themes too. But the next film also, which will be Saturday uh, evening, is a film called Agra, another uh, award winner, um, and by a filmmaker called Kanu Bale. We showed his film Titli, I believe, in 2016, and this is his second film. Had a standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival in 2023. Um, Really kind of an edgy film, um, very intense. I couldn't take my eyes off the film. Uh, Also recommended, but with care, because it has a lot of uh, very graphic imagery. It's about repressed sexuality and patriarchy, a critique of that, and the limited space in uh, metropolitan homes in India. Um, So we're sort of pitching it as a pre-Halloween film because it's kind of intense, but really worth the watch. Um, So those are some of the more um, edgy and political films. We're also having a film called Joyland by uh, Pakistani director Saim Siddiqui. And that, again, is uh, another best international film uh, uh, shortlisted at the Oscars. Also did really well at, uh, um, at um, Cannes Film Festival and deals with identity, sexual identity, gender, uh, gender roles, and, and a complexity around love. Um, it it's, uh, focuses on the transgender community in Pakistan and has been just highlighted as a revolutionary film, the acting, the cinematography. Every part of this film is incredible. It's shown in theaters, so some people might have the- seen it already. However, we love this film so much, we wanted to bring it back and uh, give it, give it a chance to people who haven't seen it and for those who've seen it to come a second time. It's really worth the viewing with a, a group of people that you know. Um, so those are some of the uh, more intriguing, evocative films. Uh, we also have uh, some films for children. We have, and families. We have a film called Katal. There's another film called Katal. There's two films, actually. But this is quite different. It deals with mischievous kids. It's a film from Pakistan and looks at gender roles and also its class issues within the society. 
Um, very funny and exuberant. And we're also showing a short film along with it. And again, it's free. We're trying to incorporate and bring in the youth into this screening. Also at the Castro Theatre, I think, I mean, at the Roxy Theatre, I think it's on Sunday, November 22nd. And um, we're also showing a film called Bangla Surf Girls, which is about young teenage girls who are surfing on the coast of Bangladesh, which is Cox's Bazaar, which is actually the longest strip of beach in the world. And so looking at their lives, they come from poorer families and they love surfing. So it's won a couple of awards in terms of surf film festivals. So we're hoping that a lot of the surfers and skateboarders will come and see it. Um, finally, we're showing also uh, our annual short films, which is films from um, international short films as well as national and local. We'll have our local filmmakers for Q&A. And um, we have a variety of films in, in that short film compilation. It's called Coast to Coast Third Eye Shorts including one sort of snippet of a little bit of a horror film. So it's got a different spices in its compilation. Uh, oh, we also have two other films to mention. Uh, one is uh, The Seeds of Vandana Shiva, and it deals with agribusiness and her, her life work uh, to push for organic farming and preserving the farming that is in India and globally too. Um, and um, yeah, that, those are the main films that we're looking at uh, including the shorts. So come and check them out. Um, I mean, our whole goal is to uh, bridge the differences with our, our, our community and also celebrate the diversity. And I think that's that's what we're doing. And I think we have, you know, as I said earlier, a host of really the best films this year and some from last year. And it's well worth seeing them in one go. Well, we can't wait to catch up with all the Third Eye fans at the festival. Thank you no. so much for joining me. Thank you for having us. And I look forward to seeing you at the theaters too. Be sure to follow us on social media and stay tuned to Dia TV for film festival coverage across the nation. I'm your host, Carrie Lane. Thank you for watching.